In the final battle scene of Steven Spielberg's World War II epic Saving Private Ryan, Tom Hanks' character, Captain Miller, comes up with an ingenious way to knock out the tracks of a Tiger tank. He refers to these as sticky bombs, and makes reference to them being in the field manual. But was the sticky bomb real? In today's video, we look at the real-life sticky bombs of World War II. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. The German tanks of the Second World War were among some of the best designed fighting vehicles of the era. Emphasis on stronger and thicker armour became more important as the war went on. For the Allies, coming up with different weapons to penetrate this armour was an ever-evolving situation. Rewinding to a year before the war began in 1938, a major Millis Jefferis, an important figure in British weapon development during the war, had the idea of a sticky bomb. Following the British withdrawal from Dunkirk in 1940, thousands of fighting vehicles, weapons and ammunition were left on the European continent. With the ever-present danger of a German invasion of Britain itself, the need for infantry to defend against German tanks became a priority. Winston Churchill himself put Jefferis in charge of the development of the sticky bomb, which was hoped to be easy and simple enough for even the British public to use to defend against an invasion if necessary. The eventual design, the number 74 grenade, or nicknamed Sticky Bomb, was 9.5 inches in length and 4.5 in diameter. The end was made of a glass flask filled with 560 grams of nitroglycerin. The outside of the glass sphere was wrapped in a cotton type material, and the entirety of this was covered in a strong adhesive. The handle, made from Bakelite, contained a striker, which was held by a metal safety lever and pin. Two thin metal half-spheres, hinged on one end and spring-loaded, covered the adhesive end for easy transport. Some 2.5 million sticky bombs were produced throughout the Second World War. Many issued to home guard units whilst an invasion looked likely. Eventually, they made their way into the hands of British Army units, and saw use throughout the European campaign. They were of particular importance to the French resistance units in the Normandy campaign. As far as how effective they were, the explosive itself was enough to cause significant damage to the majority of German tanks. But it had its flaws. Even a small amount of mud, dust or snow would be enough for the bomb's adhesive to fail to stick to the target. The other huge issue was the likelihood of the soldier throwing the bomb to stick it to their own uniform or equipment, in the motion of throwing. There are some reports of this occurring throughout the war, and these bombs causing friendly fire incidents. This is the only recorded form of sticky bomb during the war. Despite the suggestion in Saving Private Ryan of there being instructions in the GI field manual, no such instructions exist in any surviving field manuals. This seems to be just part of the film's creative thinking, but the real-life sticky bombs were just as dangerous as those depicted in the movie. Do you think sticky bombs were a good anti-tank weapon, or do you think they were more dangerous to the user themselves? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.